wanted to take just a couple of minutes today and talk about the usage of bipods and shooting sticks in the field for calling and hunting predators. Um, there's definitely some pros and cons to be aware of and there's some things that I've learned over the years and some preferences that I've established that I wanted to share with you. Um, obviously uh, bipods and shooting sticks are very much a personal preference so I encourage everyone to, to try some different things and find what works best for them. For me personally, when I'm in the field calling coyotes, I almost always have a shotgun in my hands and a rifle sitting next to me. So one of the benefits of a bipod is it's really sturdy, it's very stable, it's easy for you to just set your rifle down, and in the event that a coyote doesn't come into shotgun range, it's really easy to set the shotgun down, switch to the rifle, and you're ready to roll. You'll also notice that I actually use a small bipod on my shotgun as well. That way if I'm out in the mud or in the snow in the winter time, you know, I'm not worried about putting my shotgun barrel in the snow or getting it wet or getting it full of mud and it gives me a way to just really easily set that down and keep my shotgun barrel clear. As far as the bipod is concerned, um, great features are it's very easy to use. You get to your stand, you pop the legs out, you set it down. Very sturdy, very stable. Another thing I love about a bipod is that you're not having to carry multiple things to your stand. It's attached to your gun all the time, so it's really easy to grab and go. Some of the things I don't like as much about the bipod is it's kind of at a set height. And when you're calling predators, they come from anywhere. You know, if you're calling really flat terrain where you don't have to shoot uphill or downhill very much, a bipod's perfect because you can set the ideal height and, uh, and it works for just about anywhere you're gonna shoot. A lot of the country that I call is, is, you know, is hilly, there's a lot of terrain. Coyotes can show up in a draw, they can show up on a hilltop. And so the bipod's pretty limited as far as the mobility for shooting uphill, for shooting downhill. You know, especially if you're sitting on a, on a hillside or a slope where the ground in front of you is below your feet and sloping away from you, it's sometimes hard to get the bipod set just right for those, for those uphill shots. Um, so that's kind of the, the downside of the bipod a little bit in, in my opinion. I'm going to switch to uh, another option here, which is that of using shooting sticks. Um, shooting sticks are a little more versatile than the bipod. They offer you a little more flexibility. It's also one more thing to carry into the field that you've got to pack or, or carry with you. Sometimes the, bi the, the shooting sticks can be a little bit tricky to get your rifle set on so that it doesn't tip over. You know, if you're in rocky terrain or a hard hillside, Sometimes it's hard to get the shooting sticks to bury into the ground and give you a firm support for your rifle, so it takes just a little bit of practice. But the thing that I love about the shooting sticks are the range of mobility they offer. You can pinch them together for steep uphill shots. You can very quickly spread them apart for steep downhill shots. And they offer you a lot of stability for you know just about any direction you're gonna shoot. You know, the other thing, if you call multiple predators to your stand and you shoot the first one, and others take off on the run, it's really easy to get rid of those shooting sticks and be able to pull up and swing and shoot freehand or grab your rifle and you know run over the hill for a, a coyote that's leaving your stand. So definitely some mobility options there. My personal preference is a short bipod on the rifle and then the shooting sticks with me on stand. What this gives me the ability to do is if I have an opportunity to lay down and you know, maybe I'm up on a tall hill calling over a valley and I can actually lay down on stand. Or if I'm out in open snow flats in the winter time with snow camo on, I can lay down on my belly and I can use this in a prone position, um, which, which is extremely stable. Or if I have a coyote come in and he won't come closer than three or 400 yards, if I have an opportunity to lay down and get in a prone position, it offers a very stable shooting rest. But then of course, I can fold this up and use my shooting sticks on stand as well so you know for me personally that's kind of my preference i think it's the best of both worlds it is a little more equipment to carry and a little more to get used to but i believe that uh, you know for me that uh, that offers just about every option that i can think of um, as far as you know shooting stability in the field so i definitely recommend you guys give these things a try it's very much personal preference some guys love bipods some guys won't consider anything but shooting sticks but uh, there's definitely pros and cons in both. So get out in the field and give them a try and see what works best for you.